We have today with us inside of our art display, we're joined by artist entrepreneur Ugoma Chibuzo. She is on set with us with her beautiful artwork. We're surrounded by it. You are welcome. Thank you very much. Thank you. All right, you are an artsy person already, looking at the way you're dressed and all of that. And we love especially the art that you've brought with us. But I always like to ask the artists that we have on here how they would define or describe their artwork. So what kind of an artist would you say you are? Um, I would say I'm more of a conceptual artist. Conceptual? Because, yes. I deal with majorly trying to bring out concepts in my artworks. Okay. So, like, I do artwork that represent particular things mm. and tell stories. So I don't that means just your art's going to be diverse. There's maybe, like, themes. Sometimes it's this way, that sometimes it's yes, another exactly. way. Mm. So it's not particularly tied to one form one or form. the other. All right, very nice. Yeah. Um, I see some of your artwork here, and I can see something. <laughs> this, there's a theme with these two. Are those fingerprints? Yeah, they are. Talk us through these, please. Okay. Um, I started. Ooh, I think I have that one upside down. Let me let me let me put it the right way up so everybody can see. Now look at that. All right, tell us about it. Okay. Um, I think I'll probably be started with that work because that work was what led to this okay, work. Okay. All right. So I was actually trying to represent our identity, who we are. Mm. And we know that fingerprints is like our Very unique, unique yeah, exactly. Yeah. So I was trying to um, conceptualize on identity, who we are, mm. like trying to describe the fact that we are all different individuals, unique mm. individuals. I think you can see the DNA sign there. No, I, oh, okay. I can see it. That's very nicely worked into the intricacy of yeah. everything. That's unique. Now, first off, there, it, th these are pen drawings. It's more of mixed media because I use pen, I use um, watercolor, oh. I use different things in it. Oh, very simple yeah. forms. Now, you are an artist by education as well, are you? Yeah, yeah. I can see that. <laughs> <laughs> I can see that, especially that the was... words that you're using and all of that. Okay. All right, so this is also very similar, only this time we have faces human that go. Human forms, yeah. Yeah, human forms and faces and that go with them. you can still see the fingerprints yeah, the finger there, yes. yes. So it's still trying to talk about the same uniqueness, identity, and now I'm trying to I'm sorry, bringing culture to it. Uh -huh. Because you know that, okay, first of all, we are ourselves as individuals. Yeah. Then beyond that... We belong uh, to a community. Yeah, this, yeah, communities, we have our different cultures. So it's like trying to bring in the fact that our identity is also related to okay. like our culture, mm. where we are from. So it's like trying to bring in those two yeah, concepts together. I see together. that. It's beautiful. We're going to talk about how these cost in just about a moment. But let's okay. talk about the two... Um, pieces that we have in front of our table here. And these have human forms, human faces. Well, not faces, yeah. but um, physiognomy, the side of the faces on them. Yeah, um, yeah. One of them looks very familiar. I thought it was you, but you said it is not you. But talk us through those ones. What are they okay, um, What are they titled? I did them, was it 20? Okay, yeah, that was 2020. Um, when there was a lot of talk on um, sexual gender-based violence. Okay. And I was trying to depict what, let's say, women go through, some of them and how they are able to rise. Because I wanted to not just depict the fact that women actually are in pain. I wanted to see beyond that of how women are able to come beyond their pain and rise. Mm, be empowered. So, yes, exactly. The one with the rose within her is yeah. actually be, um, beyond all odds, she rose. Okay. Okay. So you can see the Beautiful. rose in there. Yeah, yeah I can, you see, can see it. The, okay. yeah. and the other one's got a water lily. Is yes. that a water lily? No, it's not a water. It's a um, lotus. A lotus? Yes. Yeah, well, so, you know, yeah, you know what, you're, you're playing stumped biologist because I'm the biologist <laughs> here and you're kind of like stumping me. That's okay, no problem. I'll be <laughs> so tell us about that. What, what the does one it signify? With the... the lotus. Okay, um, we know a lotus grows in muddy water. Mm -hmm. But then when it comes out, it comes out without the mud, without yeah, any... Yeah, it's it so comes beautiful. out, yes. So it's like you representing somebody's struggles from when the person is in the mud yeah. and struggling and everything and the a dead. diamond and, in yeah. the rough. And then you come out and like, you come out beyond everything yeah. that's happened to you. Beyond all expectations. Then, oh, that's beautiful. There's one thing I don't think you notice in the work. No, let's no, tell us. Let's see. Let's, let's okay. see the work again. Let's see the work again um, on, t on TV. Uh, but continue. Yeah. Can you see her neck? Her neck. Now, that's the lotus one, yeah? Yes. Uh, what should I be looking out for? Can you see any form there? Um, mm, no, I can't. Do, do help me out. What? There's a female form there who is in pain, upside down. Oh, okay, there it is. Oh, that is so ingenious. That is beautiful. Why that? What does that mean? It's 
trying to show from okay, you know, I told you the scene was based on the sexual gender based yes. violence. So uh -huh. it's somebody who has gone through that. Yeah. And then that's the muddy water, being in the muddy yeah. water and then coming out as the lotus. As the lotus. And the profile is her face as probably a businesswoman who is successful. Wow, that is so beautiful. Yeah. Does everybody see these? Or am I the only one who didn't no, see I, that? I, <laughs> I, I you hit it pretty to, nicely. Yes. That's Sometimes nice. I have to explain for people okay. to understand. That's brilliant, and that's the special thing about yeah, it. Yeah, you know? that's conceptual art. Yeah. All right, so uh, first of all, you sell your art, don't you? Yes, I do. And uh, how much do you make from it, if you don't mind? Do you make a lot or not so much? Tell us. Um, I don't sell so consistently, but when I sell, I sell well. That's it. So okay. I also do design. Oh, fantastic. I think I sell more from that. That's brilliant. Yeah. We also have a couple others here, and this one is a... Um, nicely formed human face, a uh, female face covered in half, however, and then there's some insignia around it. I really like this. It's very bold, and then the mountains from under, I think they're mountains, but tell us, what is it? Um, the title of the work is Who Am I? Who Am I? Yes, that's why I told you it was what led to, to this these. other work. Yeah. Okay. So, um, the concept behind it is searching for yourself, searching for, like, your reason why, and you can see the background, obviously, it's blue. Yeah. So that's like the sky, the universe, you thinking of like in a vast space, wondering. Do you, do you find yourself in that position sometimes? Yes, I do. Find yourself searching. <laughs> yeah. Is this a uh, an existential thing, or is it a religious thing, or is it a societal thing? What kind of search are you on? Um, search for purpose. Purpose. Search for meaning in life, and generally what life is about. Where do you think you might find it? Is it in people? Is it in? Is it in religion? Is it in where? Um, I think. I'll say it's in being myself nice. and evolving. Evolution, I like that. Oh, that's beautiful. Oh, that, this, these are very beautiful art pieces. I wish we could talk about all of them. These are flowers right by our yeah. sides. They're very, very self-explanatory. They are wonderful. They are not so self-explanatory. You mean there's hidden, there's hidden? Do you hide stuff everywhere? What's your house like? What, what is your pink code? <laughs> well, that's beautiful. Thank um, you. Maybe we'll get to talk about them another time. But yeah. I love what you do. I love the fact that no one is the same. There's always, it's very diverse and different. And yeah. I, I please beg you to continue. And we can't wait to see you do an exhibition. Is there anything coming anytime soon? Um, not so soon, but I actually belong to the Female Artists Association. Nice. And we're going to be having an exhibition soon. Okay. To celebrate the 20th anniversary. Well, that's great. Of and here. I would like to be there, especially to see your artwork. Okay. Thank you. And you should too out there. You should actually. She's got some very nice pieces, even some that we haven't seen yet. And maybe you could just take one home after you give her a little bit of that. <laughs> it's all good. Do stay tuned. We've got more coming your way for Wake Up Nigeria.